Hi, Dr. Osborne here, and I want to talk a little bit today about how gluten impacts neurological function and brain function. Recent research study was published where they researchers identified that schizophrenic patients have greater reactions to gliadin, which is a specific type of gluten found in a number of grains. So it makes perfect sense if we think about it. There have been a number of neurological and mental disorders that have been linked to gluten in the medical literature in the last 10 years, bipolar disease, schizophrenia, autism, Asperger's, pervasive developmental diseases. All of these things have been in different types of studies identified to be strongly linked to exposure to gluten in select individuals. And if you think about it, food actually is the perfect drug. We have a lack of respect for food in this country. Many people take in foods without consideration to how it will make them feel or without consideration to how it's going to impact their health. Many doctors ignore food and say that it's not really all that important for health other than just getting a balanced meal every day, but they don't give thought to whether or not a person is going to have a drug-like response to the food. If you think about giving sugar to a young child for the very first time, you oftentimes will see this drug-like effect. The child will bounce off the walls and be very hyperactive. The same thing can be said uh, with Dr. Feingold's studies on food additives, food dyes, and hyperreactivity and neurological dysfunction in children as well. There's a lot of research in this area. So the bottom line is we have to look at food as a drug. Remember, a drug is defined as anything that can make you think, feel, or act differently, and food certainly fits that criteria. We just have to learn to respect it and make proper food choices that are going to be beneficial for our neurochemistry or brain chemistry, as opposed to ignoring the fact that food can contribute to neurological disease. So I hope this post was helpful for you, and please leave your comment below. Have a great afternoon.